Now we are ready to run some demos to help you further understand exactly what our solution can do and how it can help transform the way you work. Let's first have a quick look at demo topology and how GPUs or PCIe devices get provisioned to different hosts via the management user interface. In this GPU cluster, one AMD PCIe Gen 4 server and one Intel Gen 3 server are interconnected to a 16 GPU chassis through CDFP cables. PCIe devices inside the chassis include two NVIDIA P100s and three P400s. All of these PCIe devices can be dynamically provisioned to the AMD and Intel servers via web-based software control. During the GPU resource allocation, both the AMD server and Intel server together with the GPU chassis can all stay online. There's no need to reboot any systems. The demos that we have shown to today include GPU dynamic provisioning, device hot plug into or from hosts, device port configuration, NVIDIA GPU P2P, and central management user interface. This is the topology for one Falcon 4016. There are a total of 20 PCIe Gen 4 by 16 connections. An AMD PCIe Gen 4 server is here, and an Intel PCIe Gen 3 server is here. Inside the GPU chassis, we have put two NVIDIA P100s and three NVIDIA P400s. This is the Intel host terminal. And this is the AMD host terminal. We can see that one P100 is being attached to the AMD server. Let's use the NVIDIA SMI to check this P100. Only one P100 is attached to the AMD server at the moment. Now we assign another P100 to this AMD host. Select the device, select the AMD host, and then click Allocate. Another P100 is being assigned to the AMD host. Let's check with the NVIDIA SMI in the AMD PCIe Gen 4 host. Here are the two P100s. First, let's run NVIDIA P2P and then we can run data transfer from host to device. Next, we can check the P2P performance and host to device performance from the PCIe switch. We can show the ingress performance and egress performance of every PCIe port. The performance of P2P is about 13.9 gigabytes per second. P2P is not going through the host memory. Let's stop the P2P test and run the data transfer test from host to device. You can see the performance is 26.4 gigabytes per second from host to two P100s. Since the two P100s are transferring the data to the host at the same time, this AMD PCIe Gen 4 host performance is double the performance of PCIe Gen 3 by 16. Next, let's assign one P400 GPU to the AMD host. Again, one more GPU is being hot plugged into the AMD host. Now, three GPUs have been assigned to the AMD host. Via the management user interface, we can see that two P100s and one P400 
which are highlighted in green, have been assigned to the same AMD server. Meanwhile, two P400s, which are highlighted in orange, have been assigned to the Intel x86 server. AMD and Intel servers are connected to PCIe switch 1. Let's simultaneously test the host of two devices with these two hosts and five GPUs. The performance of the fabric port connecting two switches is 27.2 gigabytes per second. It is the PCIe Gen 4 by 16 performance. Now three GPUs have been assigned to AMD host and the performance of the AMD host port is 27.2 gigabytes per second. It is the PCIe Gen 4 host performance. In Falcon 4016, all the PCIe ports can be configured as a device port or host port. You can also use the bifurcation port card in Falcon 4016. For example, you can configure 1x16, 2x8, or 4x4 for bifurcation devices. All the device information is also shown on the devices list including the device UUID, model name, utilization and so on. If PCIe devices provide these information via PCIe outbound. This is the overview of Falcon 4016. You can see how many PCIe slots and host ports have been used and are currently free. You can also see how many GPUs or other PCIe devices have been plugged in and assigned. GPU utilization and performance are also shown on this page. They can be displayed by different time periods going back by up to 72 hours. This data can also be downloaded for analysis. This page also shows the health status of GPU and PCIe slots. Any PCIe errors from any of the PCIe links can also be checked. We are also able to retrieve the PCIe performance and PCU, GPU utilization rate information outbound, meaning we aren't touching the host server. In most situations, IT admin is not allowed to log in to the host server because either the AI algorithm or data set is confidential. With GPU utilization and PCIe performance information, IT admin can analyze the GPU utilization rate for better resource management. If you have more than one chassis unit in your server room, then you need a multi-unit management user interface. Here is the topology. As you can see, all the PCIe chassis in this one place and each tab represents a PCIe chassis or server in the cluster. Basic information is shown in a small tab. The topology is showing the connection between the PCIe chassis and server. You can check which GPU is being allocated to which host from this topology view. Today, we have shown you the composability capability including hot adding devices, performance advantages, as well as introducing PCIe Gen 4 features. We then checked the port configuration for different devices and we talked about the analytics capabilities such as checking the throughput and GPU utilization. With this information, you can easily check the GPU utilization to understand how to better manage your GPU resources. Please note that you, the utilization and throughput are from outbound. In most scenarios, IT admin cannot log in to the server because the AI algorithm or dataset is confidential. Finally, if you have more than one GPU chassis to manage, 
We provide central management software for you to manage this chassis. Let's have a look at the performance summary that we have tested. The PCIe Gen 4 by 16 performance between two switches is 27.2 gigabytes per second. The maximum theoretical performance of PCIe Gen 4 is 31.5 gigabytes per second. So the tested switch performance is around 86% of maximum theoretical performance. The performance of the AMD host is 27.2 gigabytes per second which is around 86% of PCIe Gen 4 theoretical maximum performance. If you are interested in finding out more about us, please go to our website at www.h3platform.com.